Over the past 10 years, I've helped to publish more than 100 magic books. And after every one, I said mine would be next. But it never was. All that changes today with my new book, The Boy Who Cried Magic. It's not actually that big though. The Boy Who Cried Magic is the result of two decades of performing and creating magic. It contains my full walk-around set and tricks I've used at the Magic Castle and even routines I've performed on stage and television. Just not the balloon trick. But it does contain the very best magic I've ever created, including 16 new routines and 15 different techniques, including my latest work on the Master Push-Off and even my Undo Cut, which is used by some of the best card magicians in the world. But you probably want to see a trick from it. And this one uses the four kings and a card that you're about to select. Reach in, take out anyone you like. and we'll place it back into the deck. You can see it go all the way in. Now you get to choose how this trick ends. You can choose either the Red Kings or the Black Kings. Uh, red. The Red Kings, check this out. The Red Kings will vanish from my hand and appear over here in the middle of the deck with one card between them. That card is your card, the Ten of Diamonds. <laughs> I believe that the best magic books are a result of a lifetime of performing and perfecting. And they don't just contain new tricks, but also techniques you can apply to the magic you already do. I've spent my lifetime performing and perfecting these routines, in the past 10 years writing and publishing magic books. And so, I'm proud to present the first book of my own material, The Boy Who Cried Magic.